health headlines tonight. Two college campuses are now dealing with a meningitis outbreak. It is from a public health perspective a medical emergency. What they thought was a bad earache turned into life-threatening bacterial meningitis. It's a serious and lethal disease and parents need to be worried about some of these symptoms. And the doctor had said to me that, you know, he could die from this. Meningitis infects the bloodstream, can lead to brain damage, amputations, and sometimes right. death. Cases have spiked in the past year with devastating consequences for families. He got to hospital at 7.20, dead by 10 o'clock. Did you know anything about this meningitis? Did you, had you ever even heard of it? Never heard of it. Meningitis and septicemia are medical emergencies that can kill in hours. Millions of new cases of meningitis occur each year, and in 2017, the disease caused 300,000 deaths. Those who lose someone to the disease have their lives changed forever. In less than 24 hours from the onset of her flu-like symptoms, she was gone. You don't ever get over losing a child, ever. You learn to live with the pain. For those who survive bacterial meningitis, one in five experience lifelong and serious after effects. Hi, my name is Tilly and I lost both of my hands to meningitis when I was 15 months old. As a survivor myself, I know that there are so many consequences and side effects that can come with meningitis and you won't discover how much of an effect it has on you until you get a bit older. My youngest daughter at the time, Ashley, back in 1989, contracted pneumococcal meningitis. Ashley has never walked or talked. Uh, she has cerebral palsy. She's profoundly deaf. She has intellectual disability. And she's just turned 30. There was a life that could have been magnificent in a normal sense, is still magnificent, but her life is totally different to ours. Meningitis can take so much in just a few hours, but everyone can take a small action today to protect themselves and their loved ones. After losing our four-year-old daughter, Ava, to meningitis in 2008, we set up the organization Act for Meningitis in Ireland. And our aim is to create awareness around the signs and symptoms of the disease and to make people aware of the vaccines that are out there and ensure that their vaccinations are up to date. To defeat meningitis, I'm going to continue doing what I've been doing for the past 21 years, and that's to really work as hard as possible to get the word out and how we can uh, you know, try to prevent tragedies uh, that are happening around the world. It is largely misdiagnosed and really it's not known as much in Kenya, but uh, maybe with more awareness people will be aware of it and uh, be able to take preventive measures. I have learned a lot about meningitis. There was not a vaccine available for us at the time, but since then there are vaccines available that can prevent this horrible disease, and I urge all parents, it doesn't matter how old your children are, we should all, all of us should be vaccinated against this disease. Derrotar a la meningitis sería cumplir con nuestra misión y visión como organización, sería un un sueño personal hecho realidad que me gustaría dedicar a todos nuestros hijos fallecidos y a todos los supervivientes que, que han tenido que vivir el resto de sus vidas con discapacidad. Let's really do it. Let's work together. Let's get everybody involved and put our minds together. Together we can defeat meningitis.